Praise be Jesus and Mary. I'm sure if we had all taught ourselves how to pray, we probably would have said something like, and forgive us our trespasses, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But instead, it's our Lord who teaches us how to pray, and he says that we are to say, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Right? That is a tall order, and that is a condition, a strict requirement for our sins, our trespasses, to be forgiven by God, that we must forgive those who trespass against us. Now, the Catechism of the Catholic Church says this about this particular petition. This outpouring of God's mercy cannot penetrate our hearts as long as we have not forgiven those who have trespassed against us. All right, impossible for God to forgive us if we haven't forgiven others. We cannot love the God we cannot see if we do not love the brother we do see. You see how it's linking love and forgiveness? In refusing to forgive our brothers, our hearts are closed and their hardness makes them impervious to God's love and mercy. So we need to understand that love is linked to forgiveness and that we have the ability to either refuse to forgive our brothers or in fact to forgive them. So we see in this that love and forgiveness is a choice. It's a decision we can make. And for this reason, our Lord can command us to do it. Again, the Catechism says in paragraph 2843, it is not in our power to feel, or sorry, it is not in our power not to feel or to forget an offense. All right, so we don't need to get wrapped up with our feelings, which can be contrary. We can have negative feelings towards someone. We may not want to be somebody's friend. The fact that an offense comes to our minds frequently doesn't necessarily mean that we haven't forgiven. Okay, because these things are feelings and our memory is not under our complete dominion. Okay, so we don't need to question whether or not we've forgiven someone if we're having difficulty with our feelings and our memory. But we must choose to forgive. And practically speaking, what that means concretely, if we can pray for those who have offended us. And now this petition that we make in the Our Father, we should never say lightly. We should always realize what we are saying when we pray, lest we be praying for our own condemnation. Right? If in fact we willingly do not forgive others, we are praying for our own condemnation, that God not forgive us. And this can take place already in this world. All right, imagine a penitent who comes into the confessional and they are not willing to forgive their neighbor. They are not willing to pray for their neighbor. The priest cannot give them absolution. Absolution would be pointless. And so the priest cannot say, go in peace, your sins are forgiven. But he can only say, go. Your sins are not forgiven and you will not have peace until you choose to forgive your neighbor. And then slowly but surely, we can trust that our feelings and that our memory will be purified. Okay. But we must choose to will to forgive our neighbor. And again, practically speaking, that means to pray for them. Ask God to bless them 
and to make them saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.